for good bonding and brick masonry. A all bricks need not be uniform in size. B bats must be used in alternate courses only. C. The vertical joints in alternate courses should fall in plumb. D. Cement mortar used have circuit as an additive. At a T-junction between 11 halves brick wall 1 brick wall, 1 uses A. A half queen closer in each course. B half queen closer in every alternate course. C three quarter bat in each course. D half bat in every alternate course. Good brick when immersed in the water bath for 24 hours should not absorb more than a 20% of its dry weight B 30% of its saturated weight C 10% of its dry weight D 20% of its saturated weight For one cubic meter of brick masonry, the number of modular bricks needed is a. 400 or less b. 400 to 450 c. 500 to 550 d. 600 to 650 The slenderness ratio for masonry walls should not be more than A. 50 B. 40 C. 30 D. 20 Bricks masonry walls and columns of a building are to be protected from the earthquake. The earthquake proofing is done by providing A. Cross walls B. Less opening C. Under reamed piles D. A steel band at corners above windows below the ceiling Which one of the following is the correct statement? Refractory bricks resist A. High temperature B. Chemical action C. Dampness D. All of the above The temperature at which the bricks are burnt in kiln varies from A. 500 O to 800 O B. 800 O to 1000 O C. 1000 O to 1200 O D. 1200 O to 1500 O Which one of the following is the nominal size of the standard modular brick? A. 25 by 13 centimeters by 8 centimeters B 25 by 10 centimeters by 8 centimeters C 20 by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters D 20 by 15 centimeters by 10 centimeters Which type of brick masonry bond is provided for heavy loads on masonry? A English bond B zigzag bond C single Flemish bond D double Flemish bond <laughs>